Hi, good day, Jamie Ellen Ford. I'm very glad to interview you. You're the publisher of Fine Art Magazine. Well, it's very kind of you to invite me, Unique. I appreciate it. How many years Fine Art Magazine has been published in, uh, in New York? Well, we've been publishing uh, for 34 years, and we've evolved into the uh, Fine Art format. OK. And we were originally a little more diverse. Okay, and what type of diversion? Uh, well, we covered uh, poetry and literature and music a little more. And in certain respects, we'll, we'll open ourselves up again to a more diverse uh, format. But we have uh, honed and refined the fine art format. This is the, this is the magazine, actually, that you published for this month? Yes, and we feature Charles on the cover. Okay. And um, we think it's a great magazine, and we enjoyed the interview with Charles greatly. Okay. It was very um, informative, and we enjoyed writing the article on Charles. Okay. And we know that he has a, a claim in Canada, mm -hmm. and this is an opportunity to introduce him more fully to the American market. Tell me more about the experience and involvement through those years that oh, you've been a publisher. Been <laughs> oh, it's been <laughs> Many great. years. Um, well, we've had the privilege of meeting so many people mm -hmm. over so long a period yes. of time. And uh, some people have risen to great acclaim and importance, and some people have fallen by the wayside. But the stories of the artists are pretty much the same. And what we've attempted to do is dialogue the stories of the artists. And for whatever the reason, I've never gotten tired of it. Uh, each, each artist brings their own need to communicate their own dreamscape to the viewer. And if you dialogue this with people, you never know who you're going to be inspiring. What window are you going to open in their soul to communicate to the next level? Mm -hmm. And the artist does this, and the art is very important in culture. And I think in this period of time, when people redefine values, we'll find this much more so. Uh, artists have become much more important than they have been in the last 10 or 15 years outside of uh, certain collectible concerns. The okay. Carlson's work, in order to put him on the, on, on the front cover, Why? Uh, because we know you never put an artist well, on the front cover. I saw the, I saw the uh, paintings and I saw that they had a unique language. Okay. It was difficult to discern the, um, the abstracts originally. Now I understand them very well. But the language of the um, impressionistic pieces, the dreamscape, I felt it was very unique. And I felt the color and the color usage and the balance was. When you talk to me about that balance, and if you refer to, to a piece well, like this. Yes, if, this, if, like if, the, the painting has. A, the, the work of the florals, you're really invited into the space, you're invited to taste the, I, I, this is an orange, you're invited to yeah. taste it, but you're part of the process of whatever this moment is that the artist is describing. Now, it's not a snapshot, mm -hmm. so you're invited into the imagination of the process, okay. and somewhere there's been an instigation or an inspiration through, uh, uh, like a mystique, and involving the colors in the description of the mystique. Uh, he, the line is defined in this painting, but frequently it's married through the colors. The application of the form is married through the colors defining the line. The, the painting itself, the composition isn't as important, and therefore the composition becomes very free, very available for people to enter into. And this has inspired you for you to place yes, Mr. I felt, Carlson yes. on, on your cover. Well, it inspired magazine. me. I, I understood I would have something to write about. I understood yes. that the quality of what was necessary for us to make the next step 
every time you do something with somebody, you're in union. Mm -hmm. So if you're in union, people have to, it's a synergy. Everybody has to uh, succeed together. So if the art isn't there, I can't succeed for people alone. And it's a mistake. If the art is there, then we succeed together. Because and we succeed to the next place. So I said, okay, we will now succeed. The artistic statement is there. Okay. And then we spent time um, researching, speaking, reflecting, understanding, and then we began to write about the art. I felt that uh, Charles has a great drive and a, a great uh, capacity, enthusiasm for the art. And it was just the level of the energy I felt that would carry the artistic statement through. Um, in, ret in retrospect, I think that the colors work very well for the statement, that the statement becomes alive yeah. and people understand it when they see it. If you can't let people know immediately through a visual what is that piece of the alphabet, what is that piece of the dream, that metaphor that you're describing, then you lose them. Yes. If you do it instantly, you have them. So it has to be there. And at this point, after 34 years, I know if it's there, if it's not there. After all those years, what still inspire you? Oh, this is like a food for me. OK. Now, this is like I, uh, if I finish, uh, if I enjoy, like I enjoyed writing this. I really enjoyed it. So when I'm finished with it, it's incredibly satisfying. It's food. Um, I feel something has been accomplished. Yes. It, it's. Can you imagine what it would be like if people didn't have art? Can you imagine what it would be like if Mr. Carson wasn't free to describe his experience and offer to people his experience through art and let people join it? It would be a terrible place. It's a great honor to be involved with people in the arts. Mm -hmm. uh, you wrote about Carson and mentioning uh, um, Carson, such a, a Candace Key, Modern, Pollock, Picasso, yes, I, Van Gogh. Yeah. And why with Carlson? Oh, why? Yeah. Oh, because he has the, um, the colors are incredibly clean. There's a tempo. It, it, it really, it's not just about, you can't just paint and you can't extrapolate unless you know form. Mm -hmm. You have to know form. You have to be able to paint in order to extrapolate. So he applies the paint. Uh, with a tempo and with a sense of color as if the light were coming through. This piece is very energetic and it's almost kinetic yeah. in its energy and but it has a form there's a there's a definite form lent through the uh, application of the color. I don't know uh, what Mr. Carson has in his mentality as he paints but he's obviously painting I, it looks to me like the subconscious vision of what he sees. It looks to me like he steps into this space, between mm -hmm. space, and starts to paint the colors as they vibrate. Mm -hmm. as, as one form transitions from dream to reality, mm -hmm. from reality to dream, and the abstract in between. It looks to me like he steps into that space. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, definitely. That's, definitely. That, that's what and it appears to me. And you still want to keep the transparency. Well, the colors are incredibly clean. Yes. His Which is rare. Yeah, because of his technique. Yeah, and they're built and they have definition and the, yeah. they're, they're textural. There's a certain texture lent to the piece that is very difficult to arrive at. You would think it's simple. It's not simple. It's very complex, very difficult to arrive at. And then you have to have a real understanding of harmony and tempo in order to get the colors to have a, a significant balance throughout the piece and create composition. You know about this technique. The, uh, because you wrote your title, Carlson to the East. Well, uh, in the material that I had read, it was about um, um, Charles forming, more, because it was unlike other material, mm -hmm. it was a school of thought that he was founding. Mm -hmm. Okay, and everything is Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Expressionism. So this is Carsonism, Carson to the ism, mm -hmm. and and we. There are elements of this work that I have not seen elsewhere. I have not seen this technique done elsewhere. Have mm -hmm. you? No. No. So, 
is the only one in the world who's he's, doing, he's his doing technique. this technique. That's yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, I feel he's the only one doing this also. Exactly too. You know, yeah. and we've both it's, been to some shows. You've been to yeah. Fiac. You've been to. Yeah, the uh, is uh, mosaic style. This way is the only one. Yeah, and, I, and isn't this the founding of a thought process or a school? Did anybody do, well, Picasso borrowed from everybody, but did anybody do uh, Brock or Leger or, you know, did anybody do Pollock before they did themselves? And that's the ism, I guess. Well, thank you so much, thank you. Emily, thank you. for, it thank was a you. pleasure, pleasure okay, to interview you. you.